All right, in this video, we will take a look at the Louisiana coast, the Mississippi River Delta area, as well as San Francisco Bay area in the context of this out of, ch out of place channels phenomenon or potential phenomenon. Uh, okay, full disclaimer or um, fair warning here at the beginning to save you some time. There's a very strong chance that 100% of the stuff I'm showing you in this particular video is uh, just modern work, industrial work, oil industry stuff, and uh, just uh, traditional modern activity. Uh, so this video may not have any really uh, juicy uh, artificial terraforming conspiratorial stuff for you, so you may want to... Uh, either skip this one or, uh, I don't know, consume it as you please, but uh, just don't get turned off to my future videos just because this one's boring, um, or this one and several others are boring, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this video will be uh, kind of a, an overview of how, uh, just how, how things look and uh, the, the multiple dynamics that uh, could trip you up and make you think that you're looking in, at an out-of-place channel when you're not, uh, or trip me up, because uh, I, I tend to get a little trigger-happy, like I've said. But, uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, it's, so, Louisiana coast, we'll look at these areas in Google Earth. Uh, yeah, this is all oil, like oil industry stuff. Fairly certain about that now. Uh, these channels we'll take a look at and uh, San Francisco Bay as well. We'll give a scroll to this area, scroll around, look at the dredging and potential out of place channels um, and the surrounding area of the bay. This image talking about the San Francisco Bay, uh, how the dredges have been maintained since, or I mean the a dredge has maintained the levees since 1936, continually maintaining about 10 miles per year of the 200 miles of levees in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's, it's just been doing that decade after decade. And we see different uh, looks to the different dredging techniques. Um, this one is more of like a scoop dredge here. Uh, I, I included this image because it's possible that this is uh, the artificial terraforming aspect, uh, although uh, in light of new information I've been researching, it's more likely that it's a dredge. Um, and, uh, I don't know, 50-50 or I don't know what percentage, but it could be the artificial terraforming deal or, uh, or just dredge work, I don't know, but interesting to look at. Okay, and dredging, if you uh, weren't aware, is just the uh, excavation of material from a water environment for the purposes, well, many possible purposes, reshaping land, uh, improving existing features, uh, constructing dams, whatever. So there's uh, all these different types of uh, dredges here, um, many sizes and shapes and techniques. I won't read you all these. I don't think it's really fruitful. Uh, just as long as we're aware that there's all kinds of techniques. And then many purposes of dredging as well. Uh, preparing the land or restoring the coast or uh, any number of things. Preventing erosion, preventing flooding, uh, transportation, all kinds of stuff. So we're seeing lots and lots of different dredging techniques which will result in different looking patterns. Uh, so just for uh, reference. And before we go looking at any place marks or specific examples in the Mississippi River Delta area, I think it's a good idea to have an understanding, a general concept of what's going on in the area, all the uh, human activity, and uh, the natural dynamics in the area. So I read a bunch of articles and blog posts and stuff on this topic, and then I compiled the uh, kind of cliff notes or important points into this little uh, document here. 
So uh, I'm going to read you this. It's pretty boring, so I'll put some pictures on the side over here. And then uh, you can just skip ahead or, um, or listen if you want, or stop and read it. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll read this out to you. The state of Louisiana is losing a football field-sized area of land every 48 minutes, 16 square miles a year, due to sea level rise, erosion, drilling, and dredging, and extraction for oil and gas, water diversion projects, revetments, anti-flooding measures, and levees on the Mississippi River. Periodic flooding of the Mississippi River used to dump fresh soil into those marshes, bolstering the wetlands, but the levees that now prevent those floods keep that soil straight-jacketed in the river. The area is also home to a major oil and natural gas industry, and canals cut through the marshes have allowed salt water to kill grasses that held the land in place. So solid land is turning to marshy land. Louisiana's coastal wetlands have been significantly affected by the oil and gas industry. Onshore, more than 6,300 exploratory wells and more than 21,000 development wells were drilled in Louisiana's eight southernmost parishes between 1937 and 1977. Nearly all those wells were in wetlands or inland water bodies. The wetlands are about 15% forested swamp and 85% non-forested marsh. These waters are quite shallow. Production of oil and gas peaked in 1970, connecting extensive onshore fields and also servicing offshore fields are intricate networks of canals for pipelines and maritime traffic related to the oil and gas industry. There is a decades-old practice of cutting canals through the, mar the coastal marshes. This was done to allow the setup and supplying of exploration rigs and production platforms by the oil and gas industry. Businesses that use the canals are listed as water transportation, transportation of equipment, pipelines, special trade, chemicals, logistical support, and petroleum refining, as well as actual oil and gas extraction. Ever since oil was discovered in Louisiana, roughly the year 1900, energy companies have dredged an estimated 10,000 miles of canals through the wetlands to move their drilling rigs into place. Also some of what we're seeing in the Louisiana coast area is restoration projects. Since 2008, Louisiana has spent $2 billion on coastal restoration projects. And then this is my comment here. Also worth noting, the levees were constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, but I rather suspect that this organization is part of the protocol somehow, whether they know it or not. A long-term script which involved earth changes and civil engineering may have used the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as a limb to manifest part of its weird little mousetrap for humans. Just food for thought. I don't know if that's true, but uh, something may be off in the area. But obviously a whole bunch of industrial activity and uh, natural coastal dynamics and flooding and loss of land and all kinds of stuff. So we should just be aware of all that before we go digging into the area. Okay, at this point, we're going to go through a bunch of images of the Louisiana coast area and um, the oil activity in the area and the channel work in general. And uh, I'll just comment on whatever I feel like I need to point out. Okay, so we have these boats. Uh, just briefly mention again that in, in some cases, the channels feel like feel to me like they're wider than they need to be. Uh, there's the Intercoastal Waterway, which was constructed by the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and it goes all along the East Coast and uh, Florida and Texas and down into Mexico, and it also looks very similar to channels seen uh, on coastlines all around the world, which isn't necessarily suspicious in and of itself, but... Um, just this wide uh, channel that 
seems perhaps wider than it needs to be, although maybe that's uh, strategic to give it some uh, fudge factor or, I don't know. Uh, but we've got these channels here, which may be exploratory or uh, servicing channels for uh, oil industry activity. Uh, and the environment in general in, in the Louisiana area is very marshy, or it's a uh, kind of forested area in some parts, and then marsh in other parts. And we've got, yeah, here's a good look at the general look of the land. And stuff like this, I do question, like these paths here. It could just be like 50-year-old dredge marks that have overgrown. I don't know. Um, but uh, we'll see some of this in Google Earth in about, I don't know, 20 minutes after I finish this set of images. Uh, okay. Um, see how, uh, I don't know if this is the natural river or... Uh, um, or artificially, artific artificially dug river, but it's pretty wide. Sorry, I'm struggling with my mouse right now. Uh, okay, I don't think I really have anything significant to say here. This image... Mm, nothing in particular, just lots of little channel ways like this. Very many of them. Here's a good look. These presumably to uh, present or provide access to this this house or whatever facility this is, and we see a lot of like I don't know whether this is like a barrier, this linear feature here, or something like that, and then we see like faint parallel indications and like little starburst patterns of parallel lines that uh, are interesting to me. And even like little chunky lakes. It's, it's, um, so my best guess is that the Louisiana, the Louisiana area is uh, probably a mixture of both uh, the artificial terraforming protocol weirdness and uh, uh, modern human activity um, with most patterns coming from the modern human activity. Uh, most markings on the land I think we're seeing are from just modern human activity, but there may be some from this artificial thing, so we're just surfing around and considering the possibility. Uh, so these channels, and what else can we say here? Like this is probably for uh, an exploratory oil rig or oil drilling operation that's been abandoned. You know, they finished whatever they were doing a long time ago and then they just moved to a different area. Uh, we've got lines like this and parallel things. Uh, and yeah, like this image, we see the main channels, the wider ones, and then we also see stuff like this, like these like a natural flow of whatever and then it's just straight for a bit and some parallel grooves along uh, alongside uh, like this right here these like see these parallel lines here I'm I'm not confident in this speculation but or not particularly confident but I suspect that these faint parallel Grooves may be like from the working over of the land from this artificial terraforming deal. Um, and then this stuff is the modern stuff, modern human activity. I don't know. But we see all kinds of... It's like no, no area of this vast area is untouched by artificial patterns. And I, I don't know that the oil industry would need to touch every square inch of land, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they would, I don't know. Um, so this is an example of the uh, 
the sea le or the water level change in the area, the land loss. Um, so this used to be a big continuous chunk of land with a channel through it, apparently, and then uh, most of the land was lost due to erosion from various factors, contributing factors, and so now all we see is this weird thing, which I might be tempted to say is like out of place, but it might just be uh, a combination of factors uh, just leaving some uh, spoil banks or river banks exposed uh, as the last remaining bits of land to be eroded away. Uh, yeah. So I'm even considering that the whole Mississippi River Delta and the surrounding river systems are uh, artificial river systems or artificially edited heavily, uh, like the whole cartoonish rivers deal, um, like the Amazon and possible rivers in Ukraine and Russia that I was showing in the last video. Uh, I don't have any particularly smoking gun examples for that uh, possibility, but uh, just wondering if the whole system, river system is natural to begin with. Um, uh, here, this image, what, what do we got? Just these short little channels, which makes sense as like shortcuts or drainage or some type of flooding, equalization, um, or water management, any number of purposes. Just We're just taking a general look here. This image is cool. Here's an interesting look. Uh, at the very many channels, possible service channels or moving equipment into place, the large, wide oil equipment. Um, yeah, my intuition is that there's too many of them or they, they wouldn't really need this many. But again, my intu intuition, intuition could be off. And, uh, and also it's been decades and decades, like about 100 years of oil activity now, so... I guess it's not that surprising that we see so many channels here. Um, I'm still considering that these might be older from a previous era or previous uh, undocumented strange operation, but I can't really present any strong evidence for that, so I'll just move on and leave it at that. This probably most likely just oil activity. Uh, view from, from an airplane, obviously. Nothing in particular. The land loss and remnants of old channels. Okay, here's some oil or, oil or natural gas um, industry stuff. Just the facilities and equipment. Pretty large scale. And we see these parallel lines, uh, presumably from when they moved these into place and prepped, prepped the area for them. And these long, thin parallel channels, in addition to the wider ones, could be for pipelines, actually. Yeah. This isn't in Louisiana, but it's just the look at an offshore rig with that generally looks like the size of it. Louisiana has both onshore operations and offshore uh, drilling and exploration for oil and natural gas. Um, so here's an example of the former forested area that is now overtaken by a more marshy uh, um, coastal in, uh, ecosystem. So the, the forested area is disappearing and being replaced by kind of uh, marshy, uh, flimsier, or less resilient uh, land. Okay, uh, channels, remnants of channels. Uh, these bank, whoops, these banks are like uh, reinforcements, and uh, they're probably maintained. These things that you see right here, those are like uh, those maybe restorative measures. Just little barriers and stuff for erosion control and whatnot. 
and another look at all these channels. And yeah, here you see the size, like the width of this. So I guess the width of these channels is commensurate or consistent with the width of these vehicles or some of the vehicles or ships, I should say, barges. Multiple channels here, really wide one, narrower one. Uh, and yeah, like these little faint ones irk me a bit, like this here. Kind of hard to see, only be in full screen. Uh, for most of my videos, you should probably be in full screen. But whatever's. Good look at channels there. Lots of them. Um, lots of channels. Lots of stuff. Not great resolution here, but just very many little exploratory lefts and rights and mini, uh, mini channels or. Like just tearing up the whole area, looking for whatever they're looking for, or just doing what they're doing. Same thing here, basically. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so what do we got? Remnant pond shoreline. So these shorelines are like remnants. Uh, scoured canal spoil banks. So when a canal canal is dug out, uh, it deposits material on the sides like the banks, which makes the banks uh, more uh, elevated, or it can at least, that's one, one strategy or technique. And uh, so we have these spoil banks, which you see uh, the bumps or mounds on sometimes. And these are remaining after the land loss that is going on in the area. Um, so Hurricane Katrina, yeah, just a dynamic area. Lots of channel. I just downloaded a whole bunch of images and I didn't necessarily have a particular thing to point out on each image. But okay, this is a good image. Let's break this one down a little bit. So these, this is an example of all the little uh, fine indications of little micro paths and micro channels in the area, which could be from like fishing boats um, since the area is pretty marshy, I think just a traditional little uh, motorboat could uh, cut through the marsh and leave a, a lasting mark just in one little pass through. Uh, but like this right here, uh, these parallel fine lines, same thing here. It's like the whole area more or less, and you see it here as well. Uh, is marked up by these, like this one right here, by these micro channels. Like you see, if you look closely, you see parallel lines here, or faint indications of parallel lines, fine, finer, uh, or less wide, thinner ones, thin parallel lines here. And it's pretty much fairly ubiquitous. And um, so that's, mm, there's a slight chance that that's the artificial terraforming weirdness deal. Could also be just more of the oil work or whatever. I don't know. Uh, okay, whatever. These, uh, these banks, obviously, probably some type of restorative or constructive um, reconstructive effort to create new land where land was lost. So they're uh, trying to get, they lost a bunch of coast and then they're trying to rebuild it back here. And these are the, the edges that were um, dredged around and uh, these uh, revetments, I think this is called, like a reinforcement to the, the coast. Uh, yeah, and what else, channels? Nothing really else. Yeah, same thing here. I think that's the same spot. Um, little rig there. Big, fairly big facility there. Like, I don't know if this is the natural river. 
or uh, the artificial artificially dug channel but you see this is probably one of the more large scale boats like probably about as wide as one of these things and you see it's not it's pretty small in comparison to the width of the channel so I still think that the channels might be wider than they need to be um, which may be an indication of that they're from a previous era or operation potentially and these multiple parallel channels like this along the inside of this I think that's just because the the oil installation or this whatever industrial installation this is it has multiple points of access or shipping lanes and it's convenient to have more than one uh, I don't know yeah point of access <clears throat> yep another look at similar thing there and yep slight possibility that these areas are overkill or much more much wider that, than they need to be for the alleged purposes but what do I know? Uh, just kind of skipping over most of these because they're redundant. But little lines like this, maybe, uh, like here, possible weirdness. A, a lot of lines, a lot of parallel lines, which are slightly reminiscent of some of the more blatant uh, tooling we've seen in other areas, I would say. Just resembles it somewhat. Yeah, just a good look at what's going on. These are uh, reinforcement, um, or what are they called? Marsh uh, terraces, marsh terraces to uh, restore the restorative measures to so that um, I don't know sediment deposit starts occurring again, or uh, the land starts to accumulate instead of dissipate. I think, according to what I was reading. Already, this image, multiple channels here, anything weird? I don't think so. Not really. Okay, next image. Yeah, this, that, same deal. Pretty same. Are pretty similar to what we've already been looking at. This, uh, uh, more of this stuff, and I was cons I was wondering if this was a castle, but I doubt it. <laughs> Probably just an oil rig. Um, yeah, this image, I think we do see, I'm sorry, struggling here. I think we do see some slightly odd uh, little micro paths and channels like this. Eh, it irks me just a bit. Like this right here could be natural, although um, just these fine or like this indented path across the land here. I'm torn and undecided. Okay. And then I think, yeah, just a look at how the uh, forested area is slowly turning into marshy area or uh, sediment or soil is eroding away. And I think that's all for these Louisiana images. Yeah, so here's India, which we'll talk about in the next video. India and Mexico and Lake Junin in the next video. But now at this point, uh, we'll hop over to Google Earth and look at the 
greater Louisiana area and Mississippi River Delta area. Uh, make some general comments, uh, go over some place marks, and then we'll also look at the San Francisco Bay area. And once again, uh, we may not see anything that's particularly standout or alarming in terms of uh, this artificial terraforming protocol. So th this may all be just modern stuff, so watch it if you want. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, to start things off, I'd like to show you actually uh, Alabama, a little area over here. So, um, just to set some precedent that there might be some strangeness going on in the area, I just wanted to show a couple examples of this uh, abrupt straight edge uh, on the uh, sides of these river, river loops uh, that we were seeing, similar to what we were seeing in Ukraine and Russia, so these uh, abrupt linear tree lines. So let's go back and see how long it's been that way. 1992 looked the same, basically, possibly fresh, freshly uh, worked over uh, sometime around 1992. So it looks pretty crisp there, and uh, well, could just be the lighting or whatever. But uh, and then we have this angle here. Uh, kind of angular something going on there uh, and back in 92 still see this yeah it's there this is a little bit harder to see but I think it's still there and this edge is there as well so a little bit tough to make out but yeah we kind of see the faint indications of it there and then so there may be some uh, odd terraforming going on in the river systems in the general area and remember uh, in the Amazon just briefly to jog your memory uh, we have this guy more or less in the middle of nowhere nobody really no people around really uh, well no significant settlements I think but uh this large-scale linear feature here, uh, which looks like it might be uh, a little offshoot of the river, uh, a river path, mini river, but uh, yeah, this linear edge here, which is looking abrupt to my eye, and that's just something which may be a feature of many of these river systems, which may have some artificial component so back up here in Alabama, got this straight edge, yeah. And then uh, this general area uh, has, sorry, typo here, um, these patchy, uh, or these patches of cleared tree areas, and obviously civilization going on nearby. Uh, I just wonder if this is part of the kind of autopilot aspect of this... Uh, working over of the land. 1997, similar, uh, see these kind of, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it could be anything. Uh, angular edges, uh, but yeah, this whole area has these patchy cleared areas. And uh, I'm not 100% convinced that that's uh, just conventional modern activity. I think there might be a, a wonky component to it, uh, perhaps. Uh, but that's Alabama. Okay, cool beans. And then we've got all this stuff in uh, Louisiana. I don't know if I'll show you all my place marks, but... Wavy parallel lines, maybe uh, some possible underlying patterns here, maybe not, don't know. Uh, I didn't actually look at too much of the Mississippi yet. It's, uh, it's a lot to, it's pretty long, obviously. 
Okay, so let's just, I guess, start on the, the right side of Louisiana and work our way over. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, all right, parallel lines. Okay, so we've got these parallel marks. See, these aren't striking me as uh, oil exploration. These are looking like, well, it could be like prep, just prepping the land or something like that, or uh, replanting plants that they uh, cleared earlier in earlier decades. That's possible as well, something like that. Uh, oops. Obvious heavy activity here. And these parallel lines probably associated with these, whatever's going on here, this project. I think we saw an aerial photo of this, right? If you remember, these faint lines, um, or fine lines. And stuff like this still bugs me a little bit, like these straight little stretches. But again, could all be just activity related to the various industrial projects. Got these little things here, might be something to do with a pipeline or transportation of some kind of material. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these, uh, these starburst patterns, they do strike me as a little weird. Um, they have been there a while. Let me get the historical photos up. And yeah, I look bas basically the same since 1998. Uh, so this would be the type of thing that might be um, uh, weirdness rather than uh, oil activity or uh, oil and natural gas and all the other human activities in the area. Uh, so I, it could, I mean, it could be exploration, it could be anything. It's uncertain as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so here's some place marks I have for the starburst pattern. Again, it's been there since at least 1998, which doesn't tell us a whole lot because the oil industry has been doing stuff in the areas for over 100 years, so this could be 100% there work um, just uh, giving you a little visual tour here of these little linear bits and channels and angles um, Is what it is. I don't know. I have considered that the. Well, I think I said this already, but that the that modern industrial projects are integrated into this strange overarching protocol somehow, like they're they're branches of it or they're multi-purposed. Like they they do have their conventional purpose of uh, procuring oil or whatever and then they also have a purpose of uh, following whatever instructions are printed out by this weird protocol that's possible I mean just the fact that oil is seen as a viable energy method in general uh, for energy generation is like pretty suspect to me I don't think it's I mean, like, you look at the history of J.P. Morgan and uh, Nikola Tesla and all that, and, like, there's way better ways to make energy than oil. And the people in power know that. So, and yet the oil industry continues. So is it all about the money and the inertia of big industry? I don't know. That's possible. But uh, I think at least at the higher levels of the... Um, these major industries like oil and natural gas, I think it's a handful of people know 
uh, no, something we don't. I mean, and maybe that manifests in the projects they choose to pursue. And unfortunately, I can't say too much more than that definitively because I really have no idea. But other, other than hunches and cross-referencing with other patterns on the land and historical events, whatever. Okay, so yeah, just this starburst pattern. Actually here, it's looking like it is associated with whatever's going on here. Like they dug this channel and then they branched out in all these directions. So yeah, this could be exploratory. So perhaps we should move on from this starburst aspect. Um, remains of grit, yeah. Parallel lines, got it. Okay. Um, old gritty channels. Yeah, this is just, uh, pretty sure this is just what the oil activity looks like. Yeah, we see these people doing their thing. Okay. Let's see. Like this fine line here, I could see that, well, there's someone here, so no, never mind. I was going to say that might be something strange, but probably not. Uh, so, perhaps not out of place, but they're channels. <laughs> um, yeah. Like these weird little angular bends to these rivers, they tend to bug me or make me raise an eyebrow. Uh, like this curve here could be a vehicle path or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's like there's no, almost no place you can zoom in where there's not some indication of uh, lines or tracks or some type of terraforming. Although, you don't really see much here. Possible, no. Nah. Straight lines, straight lines. Well, straightish. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get back on the place marks. Um. Okay. Long straight channel. Yeah. So just these many, many channels here. And let's take a look at the historical photos just to get a feel for how the land or the sea level has changed, how much land has been lost. So 2019, 1989. Yeah, so there's quite a bit more land in 1989 than in 2019. And then it's just been slowly or kind of quickly eroding away. Yeah. It's an interesting photo. Um, so yeah, we have all these channels. Uh, the double, double channel. And he, see, I would say this looks a little cartoonish to my eye. Just like the, mm, again, I might be just flat out wrong, but the, like this straight, almost angular look to it is slightly weird. Uh, like, I keep trying to think of another word besides cartoonish, <laughs> but that's just the word that keeps sticking with me. Um, hmm. So just a good feel for the, the many channels in the area and all the activity. Okay, let's get back on the place marks, long straight channel. What else? Yeah, continuing here 
and okay so same since 1998 yeah but activity's been going on for a hundred years so So 1998 photo, good look at these channels, crisscrossing the area, uh, 165 feet wide, so that's good feel for how wide they are, this interesting double channel here, what is this, this? yeah these remnants of channels. See this is on land more so something like this this isn't a service channel uh, this isn't to move anything into place it's it's on land so oh or, nah, I take it back it was water 1998 I gotta be more careful more often <clears throat> So, I mean, at this point, you could probably just turn off the video if you want. Because uh, all these place marks are pretty much just showing more of the same. But, uh, like this long, straight channel. It's like long and straight for a bunch, and then it, it just kind of, for some reason, it goes like more natural for a while. And then it's straight again. Not quite sure what, why that is. Why they didn't just continue? Oh, I guess it was a natural river flowing here and here and here and here. And then they uh, made use of part of it for the channel. Duh. Uh, this straight bit here. Uh, so here we see like these parallel lines. Like, it's subtle, but uh, like these going this way. There's better examples of it elsewhere. Uh, yeah, you can still kind of see it. Maybe we'll see it in older photos. Mm, a little bit. It's tough to make out. And... Like, like stu even stuff like this, like this little straight bit here. It's not perfectly straight, but like parallel to this almost. It's just... Mm, I g it just gives me a weird feeling. Like I, like I want to... Oh, I was going to try and be funny, but... I'll skip it. <clears throat> mm. Okay. You got the general idea. Just show you some more. And like this. I don't know that this was ever a channel, a practical channel. Maybe it was just to prep the area. Nineteen ninety, what do we got? So just kind of a fine little channel here across. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> that's all that's all I'm gonna say. I just don't like it. I'm not friends with it. Um but I'm sure there's a good explanation. Well I'm not sure, but it's likely. Remains of old channels. You don't say. Uh, yeah. See, like these parallel lines here. Uh, even like this here. Um, here we go. These these parallel lines. Uh, a little weird. Mm. Okay, uh, 
uh, interior channel. I think we just have like a barrier here. Uh, here's a good look at these parallel lines. I'll come back to you in a second. This ditch or channel. You've probably seen changes to this coastline over the years. So let's check that out. 1990. Man, Google Google Maps has been doing this a whole lot. Just putting a, a glitchy box right where I'm trying to look. Uh, okay, 2004. Whatever. Um, so yeah, this used to be underwater or a water channel. Much much channelness and these little tick mark kind of parallel lines and stuff Let's find a different year all right uh, so yeah once again uh, let me go back to those parallel markings it could just be tractors bulldozing or bulldozers or something like that just raising over the area to make it level and usable or something like that bothers me a little bit still but uh, who knows man and like uh, like this river can't decide whether it's artificial or natural. I think we see these little spoil banks. I think these bumps on the side or mounds are uh, from material kicked up. Uh, so it's possible that it used to be perfectly straight and then it kind of started meandering after a while. That's what it kind of looks like. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And yeah, this channel used to be through land. It's just there's no more land in the area, I think. Interesting. Some channels here. The area is so dynamic that it's there's not much left of whatever was there, so or whatever it looked like in 1900 or so. So, like this this line right here, I I do find that slightly weird. Just on a hunch. Zzz, right across there. Well, we might have a boat there using this channel, so. Anything else? Parallel lines everywhere. Uh, angles. Vehicle tracks or boat tracks. <laughs> boat tracks. Uh, okay, uh, probably oil industry activity or gas industry. And, um, okay, so we've got these streaks here, what I call streaks, um, so we've got this channel here this like boomerang shaped channel 
and we've got these multiple parallel lines uh, along the side of the channel. Could be for any number of reasons. Got a, yeah, these plenty of these little former something or other that required parallel channels. All right, let's look at the streaks real quick. Um, these beach ridges, I still think there's a chance they might be mimicked, just as a brief remark on that. Uh, what did they look like in 1989? Fairly similar. Sometimes you see them changing a lot, and sometimes in some areas it takes a long time for changes to occur. Lots of little angles. Mm. Angle, angle. Um, but yeah, that's that. Copious channel activity. Copiousness. Um, just looking at these lines this way and also this way. Pretty hard to make out, but you can kind of see them this way. Arg. So I think just transportation, locomotion, whatever. Uh, okay. Um, and extends pretty far inland. Here's some restoration work here. Uh, Possible parallel lines there. Um, hopefully, we're almost done. Yeah, I know, we know, we know. All right, let's move on squiggly. Uh, mm. Okay. Like these little straight lineies, they bother me, though maybe they shouldn't. It's probably just an explore, exploratory channel. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, here we have more of that. Uh, uh, starburst or um, go, fanning out from a central point. Probably just exploration. Not a big deal. Yeah, whatever. Seeing what's in the center here. Yeah, they're they're new anyways, so okay. Okay, 
Okay, these might looking like it's some kind of uh, barrier or restoration or coastal management. Yeah, it's new anyways. Okay. Old grid, not really. River, looking cartoony to my eye. But I don't know. Fine parallel lines. Okay. Yeah, just more of that. Could be anything. Yeah, they're there in 1998. Mm-hmm. More of it there. See the fine parallel lines going this way as well. River paths crossing dredge marks. Could be. And we have like a wildlife refuge in this area, but it's likely that uh, the area was kind of torn up by the industrial activity and then they decided to make it a wildlife refuge to protect some of it. That makes sense to me. I think I read something like that on Wikipedia also, so. And eventually, I'll take you over to San Francisco. River looking cartoonish to my eye, just kind of zigging and zagging like a goober. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, and the streaks, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, I think we should leave. Uh, are all these river meanders natural or tooled? Uh, so yeah, I'm wondering if this river system has the uh, Artificial editing done to it. Possible. Well, there's so much modern activity over it now that there's no way to tell. Uh, all right. Okay, and then, yeah, the similar stuff goes on in Texas as well. We have these channels and streaks looking pretty regular here uh. like these uh, coastal dunes or beach ridges they look in some places like like here they look uh, pretty well defined like almost too re too regular you know what I mean I could be wrong. Anyways, yeah, Texas, you have all these obvious uh, channels, and but there's oil activity in the area. Similar story to Louisiana. And then all these channels go down into Mexico as well, and dirt piles on the side from when the dirt gets kicked up or just discarded. And yeah, like exploratory channels and it's 
So just getting to know our uh, earthly environment. Um, these streaks looking kind of weird. Nice parallel lines here, whatever. Uh, nah, maybe not. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's round up this area and then let's go over to San Francisco, take a look there at some of my place marks. Similar story, kind of a marshy, uh, marshy area maintained by dredges. Um, we've got all these many channels and parallel interior channels and stuff. So like something will dredge uh, this area over here and then it'll discard the material on what's called a spoil bank or the, the opposite side of the boat, I think. Uh, and it, I guess it provides a nice protected waterway for travel. Um, a lot of channels cutting through these islands. This one's a little angular and not used for navigation, that's for sure. Because it dead ends right there. Uh, Following some channels. Uh, okay, old grid, whole area. Meh, maybe. I think most of this activity is just modern whateverness. Uh, so the, the bumps are just spoil islands. The material kicked up from the dredging activity, I think. Although that's a lot of haphazardly placed bumps. Or little mounds. Back in 1993, okay, there wasn't even, it was just land back in 1993. Interesting. And then I guess it's been changing over the years. Okay, cool. Yeah, probably just spoil piles. Interesting. Fantastic as well. Um, <laughs> cartoonish rivers, perhaps. Uh, just looking at the general shape of it. Channel here, but that makes sense. Okay, I guess I was considering if this, like, this straight path here, or a uh, straight feature, is like a gouge or some type of, I don't know, maneuver alongside uh, this mountain range, kind of, and uh, in a later video I will show you uh, indications of uh, something of that magnitude, uh, some better examples of very large maneuvers like that. Like I was kind of saying like this might be like a triangular gouge. I was kind of embarrassed that I, that I said that at first uh, in video, the very first video, part one of Tooling of Earth or whatever, um, but now I'm reconsidering it just because the San Andreas Fault looks so strange and the surrounding area, um, it's like a big odd thing going on, but that's not really out of place channels, so let's uh, go back to San Francisco. And artificial river bend, yeah, but so here's here's an interesting example of these 
straight, uh, just the positioning of the straight feature is similar to the positioning of the straight feature in, um, in the Ukraine and Russia and Amazon River. Uh, just probably a coincidence. Um, so here we see these odd shapes pop up. Uh, where to go? Right here. This could be anything as well. Some type of industrial purpose to these. Whatever. Cool. So yeah, I was uh, thinking that San Francisco might be, or the Bay Area might be uh, pretty weird, but I think it's just a lot of uh, modern work and then possibly some strangeness underlying that, which there's not much left of. You know what I mean? Linear feature, this thing, like this here, which goes a long way. Okay. Uh, I'm, I don't think <laughs> we're going to make much progress here. So let's wrap it up. Mm. Okay. Just, just one of those things that bugs me a little like this river. That's like, uh, somewhat straight and angular, but also wavy along the straightness, uh, for, for a distance, Let's see what it looked like. So it looked the same for a while. Yeah. Um. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh. Little angular bits, perhaps. Like sometimes the rivers look kind of derpy and zigzaggy like this, and that that tends to bug me. Um, although this, I don't know what this is. Angular bits, ninety-three. Can't see anything. Two thousand three. Who knows? Okay, and then I was just, uh, cartoonish rivers, maybe, blah, blah, blah. Um, Eh, old grid, maybe, not really. And then here I was just looking at... Oh yeah, these islands with uh, all the little miniature channels on the interior. Some faint parallel lines, perhaps. Uh, yeah, again, and like this straightish bit here. So, so I think to me, it's like for drainage or something like that, or for transportation or something like that. It seems like overkill, all these channels, but I could be wrong. And
so here's an example of like the dredging probably that goes along the coast and maintains these coasts uh, I'm still considering that like this river was fake to begin with and like or I mean uh well fake at some point or artificialized artificially edited by this weirdness uh, so the idea would be all these rivers are like cartoonish manufactured thingamajigs uh, prior to human activity in California uh, just yeah like this these edges here are strange to me but it could just be the material kicked up by the dredge or whatever uh, looks like Lake Junin uh, in Peru if you remember that example so these rivers I don't know man I do a lot of vacillating, if you've noticed, a lot of back and forth. <laughs> Some days I'm like, no, I'm completely wrong. And other days I'm like, I'm so right. And the truth is somewhere in the middle, most likely. And durr, and this is my worst video. And uh, I'm probably talking to like two people right now. What is this? It doesn't need to be there. Okay. That's enough. We'll uh, we'll see you next time with some uh, other stuff. All right. Bye.